All right, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for when you are trying to reverse your motor or you need to find out whether your motor can be uh, reversed or not. So what we're gonna do is I, I got some motors laid out here. I'm gonna show you a few different ones and where the information about changing the rotation would be located. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start with this one here, the Dayton capacitor start motor. So you see right here, okay, you see your information. Clockwise rotation, facing shaft interchange leads T5 and T8 for counterclockwise rotation. So if you have this uh, particular motor on your application and you need to reverse it, your information will be right there on the ID tag, okay? So we come over to this motor here and we look at the ID tag on this one and there's nothing there that says anything about reversing the motor, okay? So we take a look at this terminal cover here and it's just got some relubricating instructions on it. So you flip it over and right at the bottom, to reverse rotation interchange blue and yellow leads, motor must be grounded. So on this motor, they hit it underneath this terminal cover. So that's another thing that you might want to watch out for. Um, you know, sometimes they'll hide it on you. So on that tag there, okay, like I said, nothing there. So they put it underneath the terminal cover. And your blue and yellow wires are right there. You will have to disconnect your black and white wires from the studs to interchange the blue and yellow wires, but it's no big deal, and it can easily be done. Now we take a look at this fan motor here, and go ahead and get close to that tag. And once again, there's nothing on here that says anything about changing the rotation on this motor. So we grab the terminal cover, okay? And there's nothing on the outside, no lubricating instructions, no nothing. And you flip it over and all that's on the back is your um, instructions on how to wire it for high or low speed. So with that being said, this motor here is not reversible. And those tags down there at the bottom, it's just some grounding information. That one's a little bit faded. But this motor here is not reversible. If it was reversible, it would be under it would be either underneath that terminal cover or on this ID tag itself. So this motor here, like I said, it is not reversible. Now if you have one of these motors here. Okay, maybe your motor's not a Dayton, maybe it's something else. Okay. Down here at the bottom, to change rotation, reverse two red leads. So on this motor here, they put it right on the ID tag. So that can easily be found. And then if you have a motor like this one here, right there, they put it right there for you to reverse rotation interchange one and two. So if you're looking to reverse the rotation on your motor, uh, it's not too terribly hard to find out where it's at. Um, if it's not mentioned on the motor itself, then, uh, then it's not reversible. Otherwise, if it's not on the tag, like it is on this one, it may be underneath the terminal cover if you have a motor similar to any of these, um, that's pretty much where you would be wanting to look to find out where your information is on changing the rotation. So uh, before I wrap up this video here real quick, I want to show you guys something. I got a roll of this today at my local hardware store, uh, Scotch Super 88 Vinyl Electrical Tape. 
and I will say that this is uh, some good electrical tape. It's nice and sticky. Um, it doesn't unroll over time, and it's it wraps really easy around the wires. I've bought some electrical tape in the past, some cheap stuff, and it will unroll um, after a while, uh, especially sometimes I use it to wrap these uh, wire nuts on some of these motors, not all of them, but sometimes I use it on that and uh, it'll unwrap after a while, the cheap stuff will. So if you're looking for some good electrical tape and you're a do-it-yourselfer, you like to uh, do your own electrical work, uh, you might want to add some of this to your toolbox. Um, it's good stuff. It's about 4 or $5 a roll, but it's well worth the money. It's good electrical tape. So anyway, that's it for this video on uh, information to find out if your motor is uh, reversible or not. So um, I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, if it did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment box below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell in the top corner so you'll be noted notified each and every time I upload a new video. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped.